Good morning. One of my biggest challenges, Luther's, is that I sometimes forget where I have put things. <laughs> have you ever lost anything? Martin, did you ever misplace your glasses? Or the keys to the oxen? Mm -hmm. Katie, I'm sure you were always on top of your six children and what they were up to. But did you know that Hollywood made a couple of movies about a mother who went off on vacation and left her son home alone? The school where I used to teach had a lost and found box. And that's where they keep all the things that people lose. Students who notice that they have lost something can go to the lost and found box to seek it and hopefully find it. How do you feel when you find something you've lost? Now, Martin, I heard a story about you when you were in Wittenberg. You lost a copy of a document that Johannes Gutenberg had printed for you. Katie finally came looking for you, and she found you over by the local village inns. <laughs> what do you think, Martin? What are you looking for? And you said, I have lost the document that I had printed for me. Where did you lose it? Katie asked. And Martin replied, near one of the stalls in the produce market. Katie asked, well, if, if you lost it by the produce market, why are you searching for it here by the inn? And Martin, you replied, because there is a lantern here and the light is better. <laughs> I don't think they appreciated the humor. But you get the point. Jesus wanted to underscore God's love for us by telling a story about a man who went off and did his own thing, even though it was not a good choice to make. And when he realized that he had made such a horrible choice, he chose to return home and to ask his father's forgiveness. He didn't just find forgiveness when he got back, he found restoration. His father didn't treat him like the boy would have asked, make me a servant. Instead, a robe on his back, shoes on his feet, a ring on his finger, he was restored to sonship. So it is for us. As many times as we sin, God stands willing to restore us. Martin, that was one of your biggest messages for us. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you for finding and saving us. We know that you will watch over us always. Amen. <laughs>